On Tuesday night, the Vermont Federation of Sportsmen hosted their annual mixer with Vermont legislators to discuss some of their concerns on the current direction of the Vermont State Legislature. Their biggest concern, S-258, a bill that would dramatically change how wildlife conservation was managed in the state of Vermont. That we have in our nation and locally an imbalance, people who are breaking the contract which our society has been built on. And part of that in this state has always been a balance where we allow a Department of Wildlife people whose expertise is in studying deer and uh, bear and other animals make the regulations that govern us. But because of extremists who are taking over our political system in every dimension as a one-party system, they actually want to even bypass those people who have spent their lives studying biology and the things that are best. And they think they know better how to treat coyotes. When you look at the law, there are two issues. What is the law? And what are the facts? So here we have people who know the facts. You know, this isn't about right versus left. It should be about, again, two parties, not one. And this is where we've always met, is in that common ground and through hired professionals regulated by the state whose job it is to study and advise us how to take care of our wildlife. And now we're going to replace it with animal rights activists who care more for the rights of a coyote than they do for a child or a human. And they certainly don't care for our traditions or our clear constitutional mandate protecting our right to hunt. So they are chiseling away at it and they will not be happy until they take away the right not only to deer hunt, but even for me to slaughter my own cow or sheep. I want, I want my animals and my wildlife to be governed by people who are unbiased and, and study animals. We're already having coyote problems. We're already having problems with too many bears. There's such a thing as having too many deer and they starve to death. They're not helping Bambi here. They do this about once a year, and they try to get sportsmen and women in and some of the legislators. They actually encourage them to be here earlier in the day uh, so they could talk to their legislature about issues um, that are uh, coming before them. Right now, there's the one big one is S-258. Uh, that's a bill to uh, essentially reorganize and dis dismantle and reorganize the Fish and Wildlife. And so uh, that's the topic of a lot of the conversation tonight. And it's a good opportunity for people to hear from Fish and Wildlife Commissioner, a few legislators, and um, find out what's really going on. I think people understand that this bill is ill-conceived and it's going to change the way that Fish and Wildlife has been doing business. Um, and I think they're very concerned about that. The Fish and Wildlife Board functions very well. People are wondering, what's this all about? And I think they're concerned that uh, something's not broken, but they're going to try to fix it. With, and we're starting to feel like it's a death by a thousand cuts. They keep taking little pieces out of what we feel are um, foundational uh, cultural rights and to now trying to get rid of the Fish and Wildlife Board, which has worked uh, very well at controlling herds and, and setting fish and wildlife regulations for, uh, I think it was instituted in 1969, so for many years, and now because of a small group of anti-hunters, there are our proposals to change it and put the anti-hunters and the anti-trappers on the board that oversees fish and wildlife regulations. And we just feel very strongly that it's wrong. Vermont, the, state, the Constitution of the State of Vermont, Chapter 2, Article 67, Hunting, Fishing, and Fowling. The inhabitants of this state shall have liberty in seasonable times to hunt and fowl on the lands they hold and on other lands not enclosed and in like manner to fish in all boatable and other waters, not private property, under proper regulations to be made and provided by the General Assembly. As here today. Well, we're very concerned about Bill 258 um, that would uh, dramatically change the fishing game board that, that has been uh, used here in the state for years. Um, and also tacked onto this bill is uh, uh, provisions to stop coyote hunting, coyote baiting, coyote trapping as well. So, so we're, this is a collection of hunters and trappers and conservationists and, and uh, that are just concerned about the direction of wildlife management in the state. And, uh, and so that's kind of why we're here, just to try to show some solidarity, ask some questions, talk to, talk to the senators and representatives, and, and uh, that's kind of why we're, what we're doing. Okay.
The fate of the Bill S-258 remains to be unknown. However, this group of nearly 100 Vermont sportsmen ensured Tuesday evening that their voices were heard and that they deserve their rights. They believe they have a right to have a voice in how their sports are regulated. My name is Paul Bean with the Vermont Daily Chronicle.